Hi, my name's Judy, and I want to tell you a story that happened to me in my grandmother's mirror. You might think that nothing unusual can happen because of one simple mirror, but this story really changed my life. I've always been a loser among people, and besides, I've never considered myself beautiful. I was also not popular among boys. I was sure that the reason was my acne and my crooked nose. I honestly thought the boys only liked girls with clear skin and a cute face. This conviction had a great impact on my self-esteem, so I tried not to talk to anyone at all. I made the exception only for my best friend, Mia. Honestly, Mia's appearance wasn't perfect either, and this was one of the reasons why we were friends. Nevertheless, deep down, I still had a dream to become more beautiful and popular among my classmates. My grandmother has never understood me. She kept saying that inner beauty was much more important than a pretty face. She insisted that good people wouldn't care about other people's appearances. Also, my grandmother loved to travel a lot. So, a couple of weeks ago, she decided to make an around-the-world trip. Before leaving, she gave me a large mirror. At first, I didn't understand why she gave it to me. So, I put it in the far corner of my room and forgot about it for a while. But one day, everything changed. One morning, I woke up and, passing by the mirror, I stopped abruptly. The reflection I saw in the mirror didn't look like me at all. My acne had disappeared, my nose looked straight, and my general appearance was prettier and more beautiful as well. I could not believe my eyes. I can't believe that this nightmare is over and I finally will be like everyone else. I thought, but what could have happened? Why did I become so cute? It was a very strange and joyful feeling I had never had before. For some time, I tried to understand what was happening and where that usual ugly Judy had gone. But then Mia called and told me to bring her book, which I had taken the day before. Her call reminded me that it was time to go to school. I was smiling and greeting every passerby on the way to school. People answered me back and wished me to have a nice day. I was sure that all these changes happened because I became more beautiful. So, keeping in mind the awareness of this fact, I entered the classroom and said hello to everyone loudly. My classmates were very surprised, but they said hello back. The rest of the day at school, I answered the teacher's questions. I even volunteered to go to the blackboard to answer questions, although I haven't done anything like that before because of the fear of drawing too much attention to myself. But that day, everything was different. The teachers were surprised at my sudden activity and praised me. My classmates were looking at me more often, and their glances weren't as negative as before. When it was lunchtime, the most popular girls of the school called me to their table. I was very happy and agreed to join them immediately. Although usually at lunch, Mia and I used to sit together at the farthest table. When I had already joined the new company, Mia came up to me. Why don't we sit together anymore? She asked in a whisper. I replied that I would explain everything to her later. That day, I talked to my new friends a lot, failed to give even one moment to my old friend Mia, and didn't even notice that fact. I was sure that Mia remained in my past, where I was insecure and not very pretty. But everything changed. I made friends with cool and cute girls, and Mia had to find a new friend who was mousy like she was. And so this went on for several days. Finally, I was as cool as everyone else, and that made me happy. I took no notice of Mia at all, and when she tried to come up to me, I always had better things to do. And besides, I didn't see the point in talking to her because I had more cool friends. Once Mia came up to me again after school and handed me a piece of paper, I grinned, put it in my pocket, and left immediately without saying a word. I didn't even read the paper. I was in a hurry to a summer party organized by my new friends, so I didn't have time for Mia. After arriving home, I began to prepare for the party. When I go to look at myself in the mirror, I saw that my appearance had changed again, but this time, not for the better. My acne, my nose, and my ugly face were back. No, no, it's not possible. I said, why did the fairy tale end so quickly? I was very upset and started to cry. While I was sitting on the floor looking at my ugly reflection in the mirror, the piece of paper apparently fell out of my pocket and it caught my eye. It was an invitation to a birthday party. Having opened it and read the contents, I understood why Mia came up to me today. According to the note, Mia was upset that we had grown apart, but despite all this, she wanted to see me at her birthday party and she would be very glad if I agreed to come. I used to behave terribly and avoided her for a long time. Did she still want to be friends with me? I didn't even congratulate her on her birthday. I ignored her and thought she wasn't good enough for me. I felt so ashamed that I didn't even care how I looked anymore. I started calling Mia, but she wasn't answering her phone. But when a minute later my phone rang, I was sure it was her. 
I was wrong. It was my new friends. They asked me when I would come. I had nothing to answer and I just hung up. I looked at the time and realized that it was not too late to make everything right. I ran to the bakery to get a cake. I chose the most beautiful cake in the window and I asked them to write, forgive me, on it. As soon as I left the bakery, thunder rumbled and it started raining heavily. I had no umbrella and no money for a taxi, so I had to run to Mia's house on foot. When I got there, I was soaking wet and the cake box was ruined. Mia's mom opened the door. She said that my friend was in her room and it would be better for me to go see her. I headed upstairs worrying and being very anxious at the same time. I thought Mia would chase me away. When I entered the room, Mia was lying on her bed and crying. When she saw me, she sighed and burst into even more tears. I understood the reason for her tears, so I asked for her forgiveness. That evening, we had so much to discuss, and most importantly, I understood how much I missed my true friend. By the way, Mia really liked the cake, which was not in very good condition. After spending too much time in the rain, that evening before going to bed, I decided to look in the mirror one more time. In my grandmother's mirror, my face looked really beautiful. I was so glad to see that I had become pretty again. I was relieved and began to think about what it all meant. But I was so tired that I just fell asleep thinking about the mystery of the mirror. The next morning, I went to school. I met Mia at the entrance, and we went inside the school building together. On the way to class, we saw the cool girls who were my new friends, and I decided to introduce myself to them. When we got closer, I saw my reflection in the glass door accidentally. It seemed that I was doing the same duty with imperfect skin and a crooked nose. But the girls still talked with me despite my shortcomings. I realized that all this time my appearance remained the same, while my attitude towards myself and the people around me changed greatly. My new friends liked me, and we all became friends. Now I realize that it's not necessary to be super beautiful for people to like you. The real beauty is inside each of us. A few days later, my mother came home and told me something very upsetting. My grandmother had died. It happened in the ocean. Her line erect and no one survived. That evening, I was sad and remembered all the good moments spent with my beloved grandmother. She used to always say she would die during her trip, and it happened. The last thing she did for me was give me this mirror. She knew that she would not return, and this was her parting gift. I never revealed the secret of the mirror, but I knew one thing for sure. My grandmother left it for a reason. And what do you think about this mysterious mirror? Why can it change appearance and life so abruptly? Help me to figure it out and write your ideas in the comments. I would be grateful for your likes and subscriptions to my channel.